I grew up in a small town called Sri Kalasi, which is home to the temple of Lord Shiva, who is referred to as destroyer in Hinduism. There are three important things that played an important role in my life out there. One was my uncle, who kept telling me all the time that a job that is 99% done is not done completely, is not done at all. Unfortunately, he's not with me today. He's not with me anymore. The second thing that uh, was very important for me was the bunch of trees that I loved uh, looking at in the town. The third was my favorite science teacher, Ms. Sara Sunandini, who I'm sure is somewhere out there helping all those young inquisitive minds out there. I dreamt jumping high. I dreamt jumping high all the way up. Didn't we all have those dreams where we always dreamt about jumping high? So I, uh, so some of the dreams that I had helped me jump all the way high that the only way out of there was to jump from the sky. Well, uh, my dad is a doctor, as was with families out there where there are doctor parents. The natural choice of career is medicine. But with my case, one of those odd cases, I, I chose to do engineering because primarily my mom said so. Right? That's a pretty uh, bad reason. But she didn't want me to work as hard as my dad. But life has its own ways. It so happened that I figured out a shortcut and I married a doctor to fulfill my, do my dream of becoming a doctor. So uh, on a serious note, going forward, I delved into the fields of virtual reality and augmented reality. So these are the, those fields uh, that were virtually unknown to a lot of people out there in 2004. I entered this field through my passion in medicine by working in augmented reality-based liver surgery thanks to my advisor, Dr. Keshav Das. So we built a device like HoloLens that you see out there, which enabled open liver surgeons to see through a liver while performing a surgery and figure out where the tumors are hidden. So that kept me thinking you know, much more into the fields of AR and VR. So let me talk a little bit about VR. Virtual reality is an experience that you get where you're physically at a, at a certain place, but virtually you can be experiencing a roller coaster ride or all the way in Mars. It's typically enabled through a device like this with your smartphone. On the other hand, augmented reality or mixed reality these days is enabled through headsets like this. I'm sure most of you would have seen Pokemon. I don't have to say more about it. But augmented reality is, is an essential experience that enhances your visual experience with more information on what you see. So after my uh, work in augmented reality with liver surgery, I was in the job market. I couldn't get any job that I wanted. Th there were no jobs, so there were no jobs that I could take up. There were jobs that were helping me get about $100 an hour, but none of those helped me work in the field of virtual reality or augmented reality. So I ended up taking a very low paying job thanks to a, a founder of a startup who believed in this field and me, and it so happened that it was most of the times my, myself and my boss in a small room working on VR and AR. So that's when I started to learn more and I started to evolve. So, but the more now, you know, I started evolving, I realized that dreams or dreaming is not always about flying high, flying, you know, out of the world, right? It's at one day that when I heard in Telugu that Cheyu Tani Cheyu Cheyu Devarasar, right? So, so that hit me really hard. Essentially, it's when are you going back to help those hands that helped you grow? So that helped me, uh, and that actually put me in a spot. I was, uh, you know, I was not willing to let go all of my learnings that I had in the U.S. And at the same time, I really wanted to come back to my roots. So here we are. We continue to team dream big, aspiring to build cutting-edge technologies in the small towns of Tirupati and Hyderabad 
in the in the space of VR and AR. We failed. We failed a lot of times, but I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm here, trying to build new technologies. I'm trying to have space with my colleagues out here who are helping us build it. And most importantly, I'm here with my family, right here, when they need me the most. As my uncle said earlier, a job that is 99% done is almost a job that is not done. We continue to work in VR and AR with a relentless attitude to develop a world, a, a shared, connected virtual world in using virtual reality and augmented reality, which is as good as real. I'm going to show you what we are building towards the end of the presentation. In a physical world where taking big decisions to come back to tier two or tier three towns, as, some of those decisions as hard as what I have, you know, uh, I've dared to do, we are playing our bit using technology to bring all those people who are spread all across the world using technology into one virtual world and interact with one another, have meaningful conversations, play or learn, think, evolve. With that, let me show you a video of our work. Here is my colleague Shiva, who is wearing HoloLens, an augmented reality device. He will be moving to a remote location. Here is Pranay, who is wearing a HTC Vive, a tethered high-end VR device. And at another location will be Prasad, who will be wearing a Gear VR, a mobile VR device. So they are going to demonstrate our platform new space by entering a virtual room filled with medical content which you will see now. Hey, this is Pranaya. Anybody here? Yeah, Pranaya. This is Durga signing in from Gavir. Wow. Okay. Nice furniture t-shirt, bro. Oh, thanks, man. Not to say. How? <laughs> hey, guys. I'm Hemant. Sorry, there has been a change of plans. Shifa is not here. Hi. But how are you guys Hi, doing? Man. Yeah, hey, nice. we're fine. Suitcase, man. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> so, what are you going to show us today? I see a big screen here and a skeleton in the center of the screen. Yeah, so the skeleton up there is an indicator of... Oh, uh, did you change that? Yeah, I just uh, pinched it. So that's an indicator uh -huh. of how we normally learn. Right? It's all about the skeleton. Right? Yeah. But here, I'm going to use that as a reference to tell you more about the skeleton right here. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. I can actually walk around it? Yeah, you can walk around it, you know, all the way around it. Just be careful, you know, don't get too close. <laughs> so, well, going ahead, I can also, you know, perhaps tell you each and every bone. Uh, the one that I'm seeing right there on the large screen is a clavicle, which is right here. I can get very close to it. But unfortunately, in the real world that I'm in, there's a wall right in front of me. But in the virtual world, I can see the skeleton right in front of me. Okay, Himan, take us to the next step. That was the next step. So what all we can do is we can learn more about a jet engine or we can know everything about the muscular system of the body or anything in medical science, anything that can be taught in a classroom. So this is the power of new space where everyone can use a headset of their choice. You're wearing a, a Gear VR Prasad and Pranay, you're wearing a HTC yeah. Vive and I'm here wearing a HoloLens and we're all three different places. Thank you guys, signing off. Thank you for the oh. Thank you hey, for the Bye. Thank you.